This is Silver Mist. She's a Disney fairy. Watch me transform her from awful to awesome. I bought this Disney fairy from the thrift shop for 99 cents. Her hair feels really dry and brittle. It's matted everywhere. It's the worst frizz I've ever seen on a doll. It's horrible, horrible hair. And she has a bandeau and black boots made of black electrical tape. This is my usual method for fixing doll hair. Put one tablespoon of fabric softener in a spray bottle and then fill it with very hot water. You could also use hair conditioner or liquid soap. This solution will make combing out the tangles easier. Do a small section at a time. Start at the ends. My comb is stuck. I can't get it through the frizzy ends. This is crazy. Look at this mess. I can't get my comb through. Oh, insane. Just look at this mass of frizz. Gosh, this is a mess. Maybe it'll be better after I wash it. Take off her bandeau and boots. Now to wash her hair. I use dishwashing soap because it gets dirt and grime out better than shampoo. And you never know what's in those thrift shop dolls' hair. Final rinse in very, very hot water. Check this out. Is this crazy or what? I've never seen doll hair like this. Look how it's suspended in midair. It won't even go down. Look at that. Now for the hot water dip. I'm only going to dip the ends because I think this hair is not saran or nylon. I have a feeling it's acetate, which is the worst doll hair ever. Acetate is not fixable. All Disney fairies made by the company Jack's Pacific will have hair like this. Now for the ice water dump. Pat dry the hair. My usual hair fixing method didn't do a thing to this mess. Look at the ends. This is really like, I've never seen anything like this. You know, I'm just going to cut off the frizz. The top is fine for now, but who knows when this will turn into an unfixable, frizzy mess. There's still some frizz at the ends. The hair is still sticking out. But at least I can comb through it now. I'm going to use a piece of hairband to hold the hair against the head. This will help me cut in a straighter line. Just a little more frizz to trim off. I'm going to leave the hairband on while the hair dries. Hopefully, this will help the hair stay down. Alrighty, are you ready? Let's have a look. Woohoo! Where's that pretty face? Oh my goodness, how cute is this? This turned out quite nice. 
Not bad for my first doll haircut. Even though she looks super cute, I don't know if I would do this again. Her hair is already starting to float outward. I have another silver mist. This one belongs to Rachel. Her hair isn't quite as bad. So I was thinking, why don't I just style it instead of trying to fix it? The acetate hair is unfixable, right? It's only a matter of time before the whole head is a frizzy mess. So then what do you do? Cut all the hair off? I'm putting your hair in a top bun. This top bun is easy to do. Put a pretty hair clip in the front and it looks like a flower crown. Now that you've seen two ways to fix crazy fairy hair, what would you do? Cut it or style it? Post your answer in the comment section or click on the i card and take our poll. Now to make her a new dress. Hairband dresses are too big for the fairy dolls, so I'm going to use a hair scrunchie. I'm going to use this white one. Scrunchies have an elastic inside, so I have to get it out. Cut at the seam and find the elastic. Cut it and pull it out. Cut off the seam. Now I have a tube just like the hairband, only skinnier. Measure from the armpits to below her hips and double it. Cut and fold it in. Put it on the doll. It's a real tight fit, so you don't need any hair clips to cinch in the waist. For the skirt, you will need a large flower like this with lots of petals. Take off the bottom and the top. You need two bottom layers of the largest petals. Sometimes they're stuck together. From the center hole, make a small cut towards each petal. It'll end up looking like this. Shimmy it up over the hips. If it gets stuck, you'll have to make those cuts a little longer. Do the same to the other layer. You can have as many layers as you like. For the top layer, I'm using a smaller flower with more petals. This layer is cut differently, mostly because of the small petals. Cut through the center. Now, cut a circle out of the center. The circle has to be large enough for the doll's waist. It'll look like this. You want the more vibrant color side to be on top. Wrap it around the doll's waist and use the two end petals to tie. For the sash, I'm using lace. Cut enough to wrap around the waist. Next, a ribbon to go on top of the lace. Tie a bow in the back. Now, I'm going to sew ribbon rows to the front. It only takes one stitch. In my other video, I show you how to attach it with an earring. But the top of this dress is too tight for that, so I have to do it this way. Now for the fairy wings. These are pop-up glitter butterflies. I just want the top layer. Take off the phone tape and cut off the antennas because they get in the way. Add some stickers to hide where the phone tape was. Put a hair clip down the middle. I already prepared this bigger butterfly. Put the hair clip in the middle and get the other side of the clip into the back of her dress. Add 
And here she is. She looks like a whole different fairy. Do you remember what she looked like before? Awful! Just awful! Well, now she looks awesome. So awesome. This is another doll rescued from the thrift shop. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, click like. Check out this video. In this fashion show, the fairies model their new flower dresses. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.